Hi right guys, it's Otto here, and today we're looking at the Somfy and the Lero Solar Automation Kits. With these kits, you can automate your shutters, for example. And because they are powered by a solar panel that feeds a battery, you don't need to run wires to the motor. And because they are powered by a battery that gets charged with a solar panel, you don't need to connect the motor to mains power. That means you have a lot less work running cables, it also means that you can use the motor even in places where there's no mains power at all. Each kit consists of a motor, a solar panel and a battery. These are all connected with the appropriate cables of course. We'll look at the remote controls as well, even though they're not part of the kits. But they are of course an important factor when you compare both kits. First up, the motor. When we look at the amount of power the motor has, we see that Somfy has two versions, a 10 Nm and a 6 Nm torque. Alara is only one model. And that comes also with 10 Nm of torque. So the strongest ones both have an equal amount of torque. Where they differ is in the speed. At 10 Nm, the Alara motor comes with a speed of 16 RPM. The 10 Nm Somfy version only has 12 RPM, so it's a lot slower. If you want to have a faster Somfy motor, you need to go to 6 Nm of torque. That motor will give you a speed of 18 RPM. But that speed comes at the expense of a significant amount of torque making the motor only suitable for the smallest of screens and shades. When you look at the diameter of the motors, you'll see that Somfy motor fits 40 mm diameter tube. That's a big advantage because the shutters that are placed on the outside of the house often come in a small housing and that has 40 mm tubes in which the Somfy motor fits perfectly. There are conversion kits that make the Somfy motor compatible with 50 and 60 mm tubes as well. The Alara motor has a larger diameter, making it suitable only for tubes of 50 mm and more in diameter. So if you have a 40 mm tube, Somfy is the only option. If you have a mix of different tube sizes, you can also use motors from both brands and use an app to control both. I'll get back to that later in this video. I'd also like to add one thing with regard to the tubes. You always need to use a tube with the seam on the outside when you use 40 mm tubes. And that's because there's not enough internal space otherwise for the motor. So if you're converting a shutter with these 40 mm tubes, you need to replace them. We have them available from stock, so you can order them on the site. Rigid connectors, like these, they come with these brackets, are a must have as well, as there's no internal space for rivets or screws. These might damage your motor or scratch them, and that voids the warranty, so it's definitely something you want to avoid. Both motors are radio remote control only. A home control system that uses its own hardwired modules to control the motor are incompatible with these motors. The Somfy motor is an RTS motor, which is a one-way system. That means you can give a signal to the motor, but not receive anything back. In case of an empty battery, for example, you can send a signal to the motor, but you won't receive any feedback. You only know that the motor hasn't worked when you come back home, and you wonder why the room has got so hot. The Alara motor works differently, as it's bidirectional. The motor cannot only receive a signal, it can also send a signal back to the remote. The same goes for the remote. It can send a signal, but it can also receive a signal from the motor itself. Press a button on the remote, and you get a green light as soon as it starts. When you get an orange light, you know something's up and you need to check why the screen didn't work. This is a very useful feature, especially when you're commanding screens that are not directly in sight. When you have the Sentero Home installed, you get feedback in the app. So the motors being bidirectional is a big benefit for Alero compared to the Somfy motors. Reach can be a major issue as well. Somfy motors need to be in direct connection with the remote control. When a motor is far away or the signal is bad, it's possible that a motor can't be reached by the remote control. It can be really annoying when you've set the timer and you notice that all the shutters have closed except from one that was too far away. The Alara motors work according to the mesh network principle. That means that the motor can pass a signal from the remote onto another motor. The direct connection to the remote is no longer required and distance is no longer an issue. Feedback travels in the same way, so from motor to motor until it reaches the remote. So the Alara motor has more features. They both come with a seven year warranty. Looking at the prices, we see, we see a difference as well. The Alara kit is 279 where the Somfy kit is 329 if you take the 10 Nm version of the motor. The batteries both have the same capacity, 2600 milliamp, but the size is very different. The top one, the yellow one, is from Alero, which is a lot smaller than the Somfy one at the bottom. This makes the Alero one a lot easier to hide. The panels are different too. The Somfy one is rigid and shiny, and has a quality feel to it. The Alero one is more flexible, it has considerably less shine. The benefit of the Lara panel is that it comes with holes, so it can be screwed to the case. The Somfy panel 
has to be fixed with tape. That requires that you clean the surface properly and make sure it's smooth, because otherwise the tape will let go, especially when high temperatures are reached. The Sonfi panels can be connected to extension cords, which means you can place it at the ideal location. Even when it's far away from the motor, because the connection cords can go up to five meters in length. Elero doesn't have any extension cords yet, but we'll introduce them shortly. The maximum length will be 120 centimeters, however. So if you need your solar panel to be installed far away from the motor, you need to go for something. Controls are important too. Both brands have wall mounted controls, handheld controls and app control, whereas Somfy's range of remotes is bigger. The advantage of the Alero remotes though is that they're bi-directional, so you get the feedback on your remote. As mentioned before, you could use a mix of Somfy and Alero motors, where each will have its own control. So a Somfy motor would have a Somfy control and a Alero motor would have an Alero control. But with Santero Home, you can use both for app control. So through the app, you can use both the Somfy and Alero motors. You can even use your app to set a timer for the motors. This would allow you to automatically open or close your blinds or shades. Somfy has a Tahoma and a Connexun RTS for app control, but neither can control Alero motors. You can use those only to control Somfy motors. Long story with elements of both kits, but which one do you choose? The Alero motor is two stages better than the Somfy motor. It's essentially an I.O. motor, but with a mesh network functionality. So if you have enough space in your tube, the Alero one is the one I'd recommend. If you don't have that space available, or you want your panel to be really far from the motor, then Somfy is the way to go. I hope this helps you choose the right kit, but if you have any questions or need additional information, do let me know. The email address is info at and you can find the links for the kits in the description. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you next time.